Hi, this is Paul from paulbradby.com and this is a video vlog for the XBRAP Algo. This time I wanted to look at stocks. Uh, this is NET, net on the daily time frame. This is a great trade on a six star buy here, uh, but also I want to go down a time frame to see uh, what the earnings play was on a um, on an Elliott Wave indicator suite as well from tradethefifth.com. So first of all, let's look at this setup. I just want to zoom out a little bit just to confirm really that I confirm on all my videos about the support and resistance zone. So on the daily time frame, you are looking at uh, these zones. Okay, this is where you need to pull them on. This is a reasonably new stock. Let's go. We've got a double bottom down here, forms a really great zone. Then we've got this high pivot here. We've got a lot of clustering here. That's that that's the first yellow zone there. Second yellow zone is we've got a, a pivot point here, pivot point at the top, and a lot of clustering and support there. And then <clears throat> we have this other zone here where we come down to test support at the bo bottom of the pivot, support at the top there. So we define the zone really uh, from this early stages, but then we come back to test this zone again. Okay, so this is a really good point in which when we get a six star after we've tested this short term zone and it's held and it starts to come back up again we get a six star buy this is a really good buying opportunity for this stock <clears throat> also i use the ema clouds which will be introduced uh, in the coming months for um for trading view uh, for the expert algo um, I like to make sure the 55 is above the 89 when I'm uh, swing trading stocks, which it is. The grey is above the the, uh, the pink there. We get a good move through there. We get the six star buy signal here. So entry is really important. We've got a quite a bit of short term resistance here. We want to make sure we're above all of that for our entry after we get the six star buy alert here. So the entry was 40.92 and then we had a really big massive move up here now when we start to pull back this is a traditional pullback you can look at this on the daily the four hour i like to look at it on the 195 as well going into earnings really strong stock this one so we're looking for a, a measured pullback and now you use that to either add to the stock or um, you know, get in another trade if I've got out during uh, you know these highs here. Once it starts to come back, if I'm trailing this at this 54.80 and taking the profit, I'll wait for that to come back and then look for another entry to go long. So initially, with this, we've got a six-star buy and we've had a fantastic swing trade. Personally, out at 58.40 on this uh, trading stop taken profit monitor this pullback i like to monitor this pullback on a shorter time frame so i'll go to the 195 and this is the pullback on the 195 okay wave four pullback on our early wave indicator suite from trade pulls back into the green zone this green zone represents an 85 percent probability that this is going to go on and hit that fifth wave target zone and the catalyst for that was earnings okay so great looking trade pulls back uh, we enter just coming out of this six four moving average high and then we get the six star buy just before earnings and then boom straight to the fifth wave target zone it's gone flat again so two trading opportunities there the first one on the daily was that six star buy after testing um, the you know support zone we got a great entry, good risk to reward, fantastic profit. And then we're going to another indicator to measure that pullback. We Those profit taking pullbacks are very, um, they're, they're, if they're measured properly using an Elliott Wave indicator suite like this, uh, which uses FIB uh, retracement tools and all that. Uh, we, you know, we got entry for the 6.4 moving average. We look at the, the 5.35 oscillated crowning here on the, on the uh, down the bottom here on the um, on the wave four pullback, everything behaves pretty well here, and you look for that fifth wave move up. So there's two trading opportunities there uh, on uh, NET, but the first one really comes with 
that daily time frame and that was the big move for that six star buy on the x brad algo and that's what we're looking for so you know the x brad algo is great for day trading futures forex but it's also fantastic for swing trading stocks but back to basics is always the key here put in those support and resistance zones and they will really help you identify those high probability signals from Brad Elgo. So hopefully that helps and I'll be producing other vlogs on stocks and all the other different instruments uh, in the coming days.